Hi kids, this is uh, Scott's Mail Call Part Dukes, or two. Uh, thought I'd show you how to glue your finger back on, and I hope it don't gross you all out. It's just me and just fingers. Uh, it doesn't really warrant gluing back on like in the past. Got a couple good little cuts there, not bad. But I'll show you how it does. This stuff really, this is... Kimball Midwest Ultra Bond. This is probably my last tube, so I can't cut no more fingers off. But the good thing about this is it it saves you stitches, and the bad thing is it uh, burns. You're supposed to do this right when you right when you do it because it even if you sew it back on. That's pretty good. See? You just glue it up. And it burns. But as long as you're not a panty waste, you won't feel it too bad. I also got, while I got this out, because this will dry up just in a minute. I'm going to uh, fix a few of these little pins in this gun I'm building. Woohoo! There you go, young man. Locking under that. Okay. So there that is. Put this over here. And uh, so much for the glue. Oh, poor Grummet. He got a little cracked in, in, uh, in his... Uh, thing in his uh, travels here. So I'm going to give him a little love in. <laughs> By the way, the voice of Wallace is uh, the same voice, the same guy that does the uh, Is the same actor that's played for almost 40 years on uh, one of my favorite English situation comedies, I guess, by Roy Clark. Not Roy Clark, the banjo player that plays banjo with his tongue sticking out, but the Roy Clark, the great writer. And, uh, that show that I'm talking about is the wonderful uh, Last of the Summer Wine series. If you can look at it, you'd be doing yourself a favor. Last of the Summer's Wine. And see, now Gromit is fixed up too. Thank you. Oh, I'll let you right there. I still got more scars than you. Oh my gosh, I hit my finger on that. Oh well. Anyway, Kimball Midwest. Good for what ails you. Now, here is the stuff that I couldn't show you before because I was losing bodily fluids. Look at that. That's pretty. This is a British Arms Forces Special Voucher. It's a one pound issued by command of the Army Council. Isn't that beautiful? I love money. I mean, the artist, the artistry of, of money and stuff. And we've got all sorts of wonderful coins here. Look at that. Look at that baby. Look at the stuff in there. That's a shilling. And if I ever get the pences and shillings and stuff down, I will be doing something. This is a half crown, 1967. Woo! Look at this big honker. This is Queen Elizabeth, 1977. Got all of her good stuff on it. 
and uh, this is a 1947 shilling. The neat thing about overseas is they get a little bit of uh, influence in the bloodlines and other things from the other countries that they're right across the water from. I mean the short water, not the big water. So you get princes and queens and stuff marrying French people and German people and and they used to do that so they wouldn't have any wars between them because they'd be fighting like half their family. Of course that didn't work out too good but it was a good idea I thought. Oh these are beautiful. Now see I'll put these next to my bed tonight and I'll play with them and look at them and wonder where they've been. And that'll just take me away from whatever problems and things that I'm doing and it'll be like a, a trip to Hawaii or somewhere. And oh, I need to wipe this. I'm using dog water to clean up with. Turn the jingle mat, don't worry about it. Get that little bit of glue off there before it glues. Good or it glue. You get a little dog water here. Don't worry, dogs are their mouths are cleaner than us. Really not. Get the blood off my Scott's garage. Now I'm embarrassed about cutting myself in front of y'all. I'm just glad I looked at the t at the movie that I made, which I normally don't do. I'm just pretty embarrassed by just the whole seeing myself in a whole smear. But anyway, well, I looked at it, and I don't think you could see too much that I was squirting. Well, let's just say the vampires is going to be out there pecking around that old oak tree. Hope they get in that poison ivy. There you go, all cleaned up. Whee! Ooh, got a little blood on this. I was profusely, I almost said ministrating, but not really. Man, this is a coup. This is so good. Uh, I told Scott the other day that one of my, well, look at the hair on this girl. You've got to see this girl. Now, I'm old, and I remember hair cut, my teachers and stuff had big hair like that. And thank goodness they didn't have the invention of ceiling fans at that time. Otherwise, these girls would be in a heck of a shape. So, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm going to say something about you to you. And thank you again, Scott. And I love y'all. And y'all have fun. And uh, I got some stuff. It's from England. And you don't have any. Nah, nah, nah. Don't hate me.